So there's a Barbaz game on this weekend. Uh, Argentina are playing the Barbaz. Um, a lot of South Africans in that Barbaz team. Uh, it's a team coached by Rusty Erasmus. And yeah, he's picked a lot of box. So if you're a box fan, you might as well be cheering for the Barbaz because a lot of the team, and I'll put the teams in the description, you guys can have a look. Uh, a lot of the team... Uh, our, our South African players, I've put a fair few logos on there because I think those are all the countries represented. Uh, I may have missed some, but I did have a quick look. Uh, yeah, a Barbaz match is always going to be an interesting one. It's a nice way to sign off uh, the November Internationals. The last time we saw a Barbaz game, it was them beating England at Twickenham 63 points to 45. Uh, England were at a wee bit of a low at that time, Chris. Chris Ashton, from memory, scored three. Was it three tries? Uh, it was a free-flowing, entertaining, typical kind of Barbaz game. So it will be interesting to see if we kind of get a similar performance uh, out of the Barbaz uh, this week because it's kind of what they're known for. I'll start with the, the Pumas, though. Uh, he's made 10 changes to the team. I guess it makes sense that he's going to give some of the big guns who've been playing a lot of rugby with the Jaguares and with the Pumas this season. Give them a bit of a rest. So it's 10 changes. I mean, you got guys like uh, Sanchez is not even in the squad. Uh, Delgui is not in the squad. So, you know, some of the star players are getting a break. And some of the other guys like Krivi, uh, Lavanini, who've played a lot of rugby this year, uh, are on the bench. So the starting 15, I mean, there's still some familiar faces like Medrano gets another start. Petty is still in the second row. Alamalo is in the second row. Matera still as captain. Um, Moyano is still on the wing. Orlando is in the midfield along with his Kura. So there's there's plenty of, of, of big names that we've seen throughout the season for the Pumas. Uh, but it is still, I mean, 10 changes is a very, very, um, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, number 10 has got Bonilla. So we'll see how he goes. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. Spanish, Italian, and French are definitely the areas I need to work on in terms of my pronunciation. Um, I'll get there. Uh, for the Barbars, as I said, Rossi Erasmus is the coach. So how many box have we got in the starting 15? Uh, you got Scott Britt, who didn't get any games over the November International, so it's a good chance for him to get a run. Trevor Nyakane is back, so fantastic to see him starting. Uh, Diak is playing, Colise is playing, St uh, Peter Steph Dutoy, who's played a lot of rugby, uh, he's playing. Uh, Dale Ende, Pollard, uh, I think that's, oh, and Dianti, that's, that's the Bok player. So pretty much half the team uh, are Springboks. Plus you got Kitsoff, Marx, Notcher, uh, Creel, and Yankees on the bench. So he shouldn't have to, to run a whole lot in terms of drills to get these guys sorted. They, they should know what they're doing. Uh, I mean, especially the lineup. you got Marx and Brits throwing to, um, you know, Diaka. And, uh, yeah, well, that's it. So, if he's throwing to Diaka, then he, he should know the calls anyway. Um, but, yeah, he said, I had a little look at the a, a interview with Rassi about uh, coaching the Barbars. And he basically said, you know, they've only had one week to prepare. So, although there were a lot of box... A lot of the guys are also not boxed. So, um, you know, you can only prepare so much in a week. He said it's uh, a very, very basic structure that he's going over with the guys. So it's it's very, very loose that they're keeping it. He's not focusing on too much detail. Uh, also, Wyatt Crockett is the captain. So he's starting on the loose head side. Uh, he is the captain. And as to why he is captain, Russi just said he's the oldest guy. So... Yeah. Uh, also, I think it's kind of a, with him retiring from rugby, it's a nice little way to kind of uh, send him off. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's good. For some of the non-South African players, I mean, Jack Debrasini is, is starting at fullback. Uh, you know, he only just made the Rebels this year and had a pretty ordinary Super Rugby year, but he looked really, really sharp at, um, at minor 10 cup level. Had a really good year for Northland, or a good season. So we'll see if he's able to... Uh, to put in a good effort here, because he's signed for the Chiefs for next year, so that'll be an interesting one to watch. Um, who else? Luke Jones is in the second row alongside Diaka. Uh, Leguizamont is up, in, uh, up against the Pumas, which is going to be an interesting one for him. Uh, Tom English is in the midfield outside uh, Dialende. Benvenuti is there. Uh, Fuka Fuka, the Auckland player. 
uh, is there. So it's an entertaining looking uh, little team. Jordan Taufur, who was unlucky not to get an All Blacks cap this this November with uh, with injury, he's playing. So too much change teams. It's bar bars rugby. It should be entertaining. It's the only game I'm really gonna. Um, focus on this weekend so we're kind of, i guess it's a nice little quiet weekend um as we head into uh champions cup starting again and man there's a lot of super rugby news out recently about new jerseys and new players being signed so uh, i'm pretty pumped to see how that goes um yeah it's not that far away champions cup six nations man it's um it's gonna be a good year 2019 with the world cup on the horizon as well you guys let me know. As I said, I'll put the, the teams in the description. Have a look at the teams. How do you think this much-changed Pumas team is going to go up against this half Springbok, half Barbas team with the with the Springbok coach in charge? Uh, it'd be a feel-good win for the Argentinians to get a win. I mean, not this is an official test or anything, but it would still be nice for them to, uh, to end their November with a win because it's been a pretty hard month. And, yeah, do you think Rassi is going to going to have these guys operating on the same page in time uh, to face this much changed Pumas team um, do you think they're going to do anything crazy or do you think it's um, going to be close anyway um, you guys let me know your thoughts and um, I'll talk to you again soon oh I should say also uh, the jersey that we're missing that arrived today so I will do a video about that uh, it's getting a bit late now but I'll do it tomorrow so I'll control myself not to open that jersey until I shoot the video tomorrow so uh, yeah, apparently on the delivery tracking system, it says it was delivered on Tuesday, but it arrived here on Friday. So anyway, got there in the end, so I can't complain. Talk to you guys again later. See ya.